Um. Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. I, I'm Leslie Brown. I'm the janitor. So sorry. <laughs> if you don't like shaking hands. You can. You can call me Sherman. Sherman. This is your cute name, like Peabody. Sherman. Oh my god. Hi. Oh my god. One second. What's up? Did, did you need something? I was just looking over your shoulder at. I really want to go into like security or something. I've worked here as a janitor for like three years. And I kind of got And um, I'm, I'm 21, so not a lot of people take me seriously. But I know, I know everything about everything here. I'm one of the only people who's back. I'm sorry, I'm telling you my whole life story. Anyway, um, do you need anything for me? The cadet program is very difficult. I understand that. What are your current qualifications? I've been a janitor here for three years, and before I used to work as a janitor at Subway for two years, and I also um, was a babysitter and a nanny on the side. Um, wait, no, babysitter and housekeeper, and I am trained in 20 ways how to kill a man with this broom. Mom, I swear I knew that it was a mop. I keep saying it's a broom. I'm so sorry. I, I promise I'm competent. And how did you come to work at the foundation? Oh, I found an ad in a newspaper that had a bunch of redacted stuff, and I was like, cool, okay, not that many qualifications. And so I applied, and then I went through this like process, and then Blaine saw me in the combat training thing and was just like, oh, she's really good because I was better than everyone else at fighting because you have to defend yourself when you live in Skid Row, so I know how to kill people. Um, and so I was assigned here because I'm the only janitor at the site because it's a satellite site, so it's a lot smaller than other satellite sites. All the other, all the other janitors, I think, went to this other site with um, 173, so I'm really lucky I ended up here, right? <laughs> So with a focus on combat, are you looking to apply to be in security? I'd love to be in security, but I'd love to be anywhere else. Why are you asking me this? Call it professional interest. We're in admins. <laughs> um, if you can really work with anyone, I'll see what I can do. Bye! I love your shirt, by the way. You're really cute. So we have a janitor who wants to be a security staff. We have 049 in multiple ways causing trouble. We have Mr. Lost, who seems to be, well, very lost. Mr. Lost is not here. I wonder if we can make him very Mr. Found. Let's take the opportunity to speak with 035. Is something funny, 035? Zero three five. I asked you if something was funny. Critical hazard assessment team. No one is putting on the mask. I swear, half of my critical hazard assessment team is made up of trolls, which are in fact canon in the SCP universe. Let us move in to this facility again. We have two tasks to my knowledge. Confirm or deny that there is some sort of pestilence in the research staff and possibly get the janitor a promotion. It seems you all like the happy janitor girl. We're gonna go speak to security staff. Hello there. Good afternoon, evening, I guess. Uh, Blaine Cunningham, head of security here. New name is? You can call me Sherman. Sherman, pleasure to meet you. How may I help you? How is security at this site? Is everything up to par or are there issues? Well, typically, we wouldn't see any minor containment breaches with Mr. Fish coming into the main area out here, but with an insurge of uh, new personnel, it's possible that some of them might have stolen security coats. We're on top of the situation trying to figure out what happened, and soon enough, everything will be the way it should be. Loose chip, loose security chip sinks ships. Are you sure you've got this under control? Well, most certainly. I've been at the site for seven years, and we've only had three containment breaches while I've been here, which is... Uh, I've seen been. two since I walked in the door. Fish escaped twice so far. Most certainly Mr. Fish might be a cause for concern right now, but I do assure you Mr. Fish is the most harmless SCP that we've had on site. We've done numerous research uh, evaluations on him, and uh, he's been here at the site for 18 years. If he had any ill intent, I would be a little bit more worried, but for the moment we are keeping a watchful eye uh, and making sure that everything is up to par. Uh, however, as you are part of administration, if you do notice anybody uh, speaking to Mr. Fish in any way that might seem collaborative and helping them get out of the team, please look Indeed. My second question, 
Is there anything we should know about the research staff in this facility? We've heard rumors. Rumors of what? A sort of, how should I say it gently, an illness. Are you referring to SCP-049 delusionary pestilence? Thank God you're on the level with me. That guy, am I right? Anything SCP-049 might describe to you as nothing more than lunacy. Uh, he believes that he has been tasked with this greater purpose to cure the world of what he describes as a pestilence. The researchers have done tests on him and he has described it as some sort of burning sensation in his head that he gets when he sees certain individuals. But we've run tests on all of these individuals. I'm sure there's nothing wrong with them. That is more information than we could get back at him previously, so I commend you on that effort. Certainly. If you have any more questions on it, uh, the research staff has dealt with them extensively at the site and they might be able to help you out a little bit more. I do have one more question about a certain member of your staff. Certainly. Your uh, custodian. Yeah, Wesley Brown, our janitor. Uh, she has been here for three years. She seems to be ambitious, wouldn't you say? Well, I have heard that recently Wesley has been hoping for a promotion and putting in the works through the administrative team to see if that's possible. I believe she's had her eye on David Smith's old job as the explorer for the site, given that he's been missing for 10 months, but as we received a transmission from him 20 minutes ago, I'm not sure if that's going to happen. You received a transmission from someone who was missing for 10 months yes. 20 minutes ago? Well, I'm not sure if you've been acquainted with them yet, but... Dr. Elizabeth Taylor, um, fiance, David Smith, has been missing for 10 months. He was at one point the explorer at the site, but unfortunately in a routine mission to SCP-6717, the other worlds he went missing, as well as the portal with them. Now, we haven't received any communications or transmissions from him during that period of time, so it's standard uh, until the site. Until right now, it seems. Yes. Which is why we've taken proper security measures. In fact, would you be willing to help me? As a member of administrative, there might be some channels you might be able to go through that other members of the site facility might not be able to get to. If David is coming back, then it's likely a cause for concern. If he truly is coming back after 10 months, it's quite possible he might be infected with some kind of contamination from the other worlds or mentally compromised, or even worse, might even be an SCP that is simply mimicking his voice or his appearance. Do you mind helping me with this? I'm happy to investigate. Can you tell me what is in the new transmission, then? Certainly. I have a recording of it. I can play it back to you. One moment, please. Oh, my God. David! David! That. Was that the missing David then? Yes, in fact that was. If you would like, I can still play the transmission for you, but given that he's back, you might as well just talk to him yourself. Can you summarize the transmission then? Certainly. David said that he had finally gained access to our channels and was able to communicate with us. He was asking for help and said that the portal was opening again from the other side. And given that he is in fact here now, and well... That seemingly must be accurate in some sense. It's possible that David might still be an SCP. In fact, I assume. If you wouldn't mind helping me. There might be some assistance that you might be able to provide, given that you don't currently know David. Now, if David is an SCP, then it's very unlikely that he would know anything about his personal life, grittier details, or more sensitive topics. If I give you certain interview questions, would you mind taking them over to David and asking, confirming them for me, just so we can make sure David is at least who he says he is? This seems like a high priority task. Certainly. This will be our first priority for me and the critical hazard assessment team. All right. Well, here are the three questions I would like for you to take over to David. Three questions. First, if you could ask him what day and year he was born. Day and year. Secondly, if you could ask him how long he's been dating Elizabeth Taylor. How long he has been dating Elizabeth Taylor. And finally, if you could ask him what Elizabeth's pet name is for him. Elizabeth's pet name for him. The last one should be personal enough that only David or Elizabeth or close friends should truly know what the answer is. And since he just came in the door and spoke to no one else, we should be able to know that that, in that information has not been given to him any other way. Certainly. All right, well... If you can get us information and report back to me, I will confirm or deny all. all right. Thank you very much. I shall return. Hi.
Well, it seems we have an interview to conduct, team. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.